Hello there everybody, welcome back for some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and today we're going to go see what's behind door number two, wherever it actually was. It's over here, actually. And it's actually not a door. No, wait, there's well, there's a door right here, but there's a door bell button over here. Unfortunately, we can't reach it. But we have somebody who can. Need some help? I'll show you how it's done. And there we go. Sebastian's going to go ahead and push the button. It's going to open up this rock, so that way we can actually finally get into the Den of Tides. So, we have to listen to- just remember what Triton said, though. Because he said that in her- in, uh, Ursula's Cauldron, it can only be destroyed with magic. So, we need to use magic to do so. And, I want to point out with the pink, uh, the pink mushroom guys, I want to point out that I now know what I need to do to take them down. And I guess there's only two that actually spawn in this game. There's, the, of course, the one in Atlantica, and then there's the one that spawns in Deep Jungle. So, I have an idea where that one actually spawns at. That one should spawn, like, near the treehouse or something like that. I think it spawns, like, right at the treehouse, like, at the bottom of it. So, maybe one of these one of these days I'll go figure it out. Essentially, what you do is you keep hitting it until you get... A lot of hits, and then like the, and then at the end, if you get like a hundred hits, you get like a crap load of like special items, and there is a strategy to doing so, of course, no surprise, because well, this is you know, this is Kingdom Hearts, and of course, there's always like a a better way of doing things, and I have not saved this game for a long time apparently. The essential way of doing it is be a high level ish, uh, have the highest level of arrow. Which, actually, the the first level of arrow does not do damage to enemies. So I was wrong on that one. The second and the third level of it, I think, does damage. If you have, like, the third one, it's, it's better just to have the, the upgraded version, the third upgrade to it. Or the second upgrade, you know, that you, that you get for arrow. And, of course, you need to have an ability called Ragnarok. And if you do stop, of course, you know, having the highest level of stop will definitely benefit you for that. You just keep... Mashing that and um, Bambi will pretty much heal the shit out of your MP and what have you and there you go. So that should be kind of an idea of how to do it. If I ever see one again, I'm going to try to show it off and see if I can actually do it myself. Okay, so essentially what this fight technically is, is as you can see, Ursula's going to go ahead and throw a specific colored uh, potion thing down here. And you see how it's colored blue? We need to go ahead and destroy it with ice. Doing so is going to cause an explosion, and then once the explosion hits, go ahead and beat the shit out of Ursula before she wakes up. She's probably going to wake up again, but I think she's going to start attacking us, if anything, if she does wake up. No, she's still stunned, apparently. Awesome. Now, Jetsum and Floatsum cannot be, they can be taken down, but they cannot necessarily be killed. And of course, Ursula in this fight cannot be killed either. So for the most part, it's just us just trying to like duke it out as best as we can. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, like, you can knock them out, but that's the best you can do with these guys. You can just knock them off. You just knock them out like that. Nice, you know, couple hits will take them out, of course. And Granted, you know, we can just leave it to Ariel and Goofy to do so. If they decide to go ahead and, you know, beat the living shit out of them. I don't think we get any experience for, like, knocking them, out, knocking them out every single time. Because if we did, that would be too easy to get a grind up for the game. So, really, I can see the reason why the game developers did not let that happen. So, thing is, uh, there is... It seems to be fire. Yeah, that one's fire this time. Because I saw fire coming out of there. Actually, no. Wait. Something's not... Oh, now, now she's going to put stuff in there. So now I need to go ahead and use ice to take this down. And, of course, I'm sorry if you hear like, any banging going in the background because people have no respect for anything. Uh, so we're going to take this out. And we're going to have to find her, though. There she is. So we did take out, like, what, half a bar earlier, I think it was? I think we took, like, the first, like, extra half health that she had. We might have to do this one more time, maybe. This part of the fight actually is pretty easy, but then it, then the real boss fight comes in, and that's when things get a little more difficult. So yeah, go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a little bit of a breather right now, considering the fact that 
this is not too surprisingly hard. But it the the next fight is gonna get even more difficult. And trust me when I say this, it, it definitely will. It's definitely not something you know you want to fuck around in. All right, so Ursula is going to be running around again, I believe. Hopefully she'll just go ahead and throw something into the pot. There we go. No, I didn't want to relock onto somebody. I want to go lock onto this. I think it's like what three, four, or five hits on this damn thing, and it's pretty much destroyed. There we go. So we got, uh, Ariel got actually MP up, and that should be it for, uh, Ursula. Ah. You'll pay for this! Let's go. We must get the Triton back. Yes. Uh, now we learned the ability called Mermaid Kick. To swim faster or against currents, equip this and press circle repeatedly. This is a shared ability, of course. And what we need to do is go to abilities, go to shared, Mermaid Kick, equip it, and bam. Now we can swim faster with the circle button. This is going to definitely help. It seems to me like we got our magic back. So now we just need to take this. It's all clogged up. Let's look for another way. Alright, fair enough. Just need to find that other way, though. That's the problem. Alrighty, that's not it, I guess. Uh, I think we need to go out this way, and we need to go around, I think so. Well, last time we went around, I think it was like pretty much just a dead end of anything, so... We're gonna swim out this way, and... I No, hold on, I think we need to go... Where did she go, though? That's the question. I don't really recall where she might have went. She might have went back to the palace, if anything. Well, actually, hell, I think we might have to go back to the palace, if anything. Just, to, you know, check on Trident. Because as story goes, Trident gets turned into, like, one of those little fish thingies. So, of course, we need to go see if, you know, if he is or not yet turned into something else. That's a, that's a real stake, as it stands right now. Now, this, no, that's right, this area is only just, like, a safe spot, if anything. Uh, well, for the fact of just saving it again, because we just took out a boss, and I don't want anything, like, exploding on me. Which, granted, if something did explode on me... It would probably wipe out my Elgato, my whole recording, and that would suck ass. Because my Elgato sucks, ladies and gentlemen. Elgato is not... It's not a bad capture card itself. It's a bad system thing on my computer. Like, Game Capture HD is a very, very shitty, like, uh, like editing tool, pretty much, is what it is. Like, you can actually edit, you know, clips and stuff, like... No, I think that's the capturing device. There's a capture card, and then there's capturing device. I think, and I think that one's probably. I don't. Re I don't really know which ones of which, but either one, it just. Some like Elgato. It's, it's. It's been fucking with me lately. Like I've been trying to live stream at this place, at my house, and fucking we can't even get that going, because for some reason Elgato just decides not to want to work, ever, and it's stupid why it does not want to work. I don't understand why. Alright, so let's wipe these guys out, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to find my way back to... Wait, th no, this will take... Yeah, that's right, we're going the right way, alright. I'm gonna go back to the palace, and hopefully that's it. Or, better yet, let's try swimming this way and see what's actually over here. Because we might get something out of doing this. I would hope so. I would hope so, though. I mean, that'd be nice. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, it's question marks, so maybe this might be the way we have to go. I yeah, I think so. Here's a cutscene. Okay, so, this is the last of the Ursula fight. If it wasn't obvious enough, you need to attack her right in her freaking face. Because that seems to be the only spot we actually can attack her at. When she does this attack right here, try your best to match the circle button and swim away. It's an easy one to avoid. Now, those lightning attacks are a little harder to avoid and they actually do quite a bit of damage, to be honest. It seems like, to me, we can deflect those attacks. But, it's not- oh, I ran right into that one because I'm kind of an idiot. If you wanted to, you can probably get behind her head and just hit her that way. 
I think it doesn't really matter which spot you hit her at, as long as you just hit her in the head, necessarily. And that should give us some damage. Now, I think when she starts, she has a, a specific audio cue when she lets out whether or not she's going to do this barrage of attacks. Um, I think, like, almost every attack or so, I think she gives you an idea of, like, what she's going to be doing. Like this one, for example, right here, like, it seems to me like if she keeps talking, or like, I think she says, like, this is not going to be pretty or something like that. And that's when she's going to do these bubble attacks, which, of course, can be easily avoided. Now, this one, you know, she'll just open her mouth and suck you through. And, of course, I'm going to get hit by that probably multiple times because I am not the best at avoiding it, apparently. All right. So, yeah, again, just watch out for the lightning. Just watch out for the lightning strikes if you can. This, this is when she's going to, yeah, that, now I know what she's going to do. Everything is, everything gets a little bit darker. And, of course, like, it's... It's got a pretty easy way to tell what she's going to do, though. I mean, that, that's the one that you want to watch out for the most. There's going to be, I believe, an attack that she does later where she starts sending down, like, a whole shitload of these thunder strikes around her. Which I'm surprised she's not doing that now. Unless that might be the sequel to this game that I'm thinking of. When I say sequel to this game, I mean Chain of Memories. I mean, yeah, there is, of course, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2, which is not necessarily... It's a sequel, but it's not a direct sequel. That's the thing about it. All right, let me go ahead and, uh, oh, I see now. So she does that. Oh, yeah. So there you go. That was the, um, like the circular attack of like lightning strikes. That was the one I was talking about initially. All right. So now she's going to go ahead and suck me up. And the good thing is I have plenty of health to last. I have pretty damn good defense, which makes me question, like, how hard is Proud Mode necessarily? You know, like, it doesn't seem like it would be too extremely difficult like if this is not that damaging now as it seems it couldn't really be that bad could it good thing is i guess i can just go back here and attack her that way i am getting hurt though and i need to do something about that i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go and ahead and try to heal goofy real quick just get him back on the field i know he's not gonna have much to offer for like attack or anything like that but at least at least having him up will help me you know just a little bit even though they're not really doing much in terms of damage. Yeah, that one's the one where she, like, she starts to like, attack the entire field. I have plenty of items, and I also happen to have plenty of magic on, on hand at the time. So, really, this boss fight isn't necessarily too difficult. Yeah, when she sticks a dragon up there like that, that's when she's going to do that lightning storm. So, that's, that's the uh, visual cue for that one. Most of it's actually audio and visual cues. And, of course, since I can't hear my TV, I have to, list, I have to look for visual cues. I can't utilize audio cues because I can't hear my TV. So yeah, I do that just so it won't pick up in the mic, folks. Because knowing my microphone, it would pick up and that would be a problem. Because then that would basically cause echoing and that would make the sound quality sound like shit. So that's why I don't do it. There you go. If you wanted to know, that's why. It'd be really nice if I can get like a final finishing combo on her. That'd be great. Yeah, I figured she's gonna do that. I saw that coming. But I'm just going to go ahead and try to do Ballsy and take it anyway. Oh, you bitch. Alright, let's just wipe her out with, like, Blizzard or something. That way I just kill her off already. HP up and strength up for Ariel. Alright, Ariel. Oops. My bad. Now Earth is done. For good. Once and for all. Okay, so we now have a couple of new things we got. We have an Ansem report, and of course we have what seems to be an upgraded version of Thunder, which is going to be called Thundara. 
So that is the second level of Thunder. Not a bad one. And let's go ahead and talk to Sebastian real quick. Ursula's gone and the Trident has been recovered. What a relief. Now if only... Excuse me, sorry. Now if only Ariel would settle down a bit. Alright. The time has come to use your key. The keyhole is in Ariel's grotto. She never knew of, it, of its existence. Maybe her longing for other worlds drew it to her. Uh, that could very well be possible, but then again, I don't think that is. I think if you double tap square, I, I believe that also gives you the, the mermaid kick thing. Yeah, it seems to be working the same way necessarily because like they're both pretty much you know swimming mechanics at the same time so now i don't know why they would just set it just to circle why they would tell you just to set the circle plainly when they could just easily tell you hey you can use both good thing is now we don't have to find any heartless because ursula's gone there's a lack of any heartless but until we come back of course and you know if we come back that's gonna go ahead and cause some more heartless to come out and try to kill me Let's go ahead and get this damn thing over with. for lying to you. <laughs> it's okay. Besides, if you can travel to other worlds, maybe I can too. So many places I want to see. I know I'll get there someday. I'll find a way, somehow. I'm sure of it. <sighs> well, if you find it, do me a favor and leave me out of it. Okay, this is from my collection. I want you to have it. What is it? Oh, we obtained a new Keyblade, which is going to be called the Crab Claw. Uh, Ariel, Ariel is falling. That's right, she's falling us. I was wondering like what she was doing. The waters feel calm now, probably because Ursula's gone. Yeah, more than likely. So now the question remains: What do we need to do? Well, there doesn't really seem to be much to do, to be honest. Uh, we can whack that there. Um, we can whack this hair. And let's see, anything else I can actually whack at? This? This we can whack at, apparently. No, we have to examine it, I guess. Now, I guess that just plays. Yeah. Yeah, it just spins around, that's about it. Uh, I would break now. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and break it to see what we get out of it. Uh, some magic, some ether. I'm surprised that we actually get anything out of it now. Thing is, we need to go ahead and leave, but. Well, I mean, is there any other designation we can go to? Like, I just sealed off the keyhole, so... I don't think there's really anywhere we need to go to now. You would think the game would just, like, automatically just send us somewhere, but if anything, I can always go to the safe spot and take the gummy ship that way. Because we're pretty much done here, folks, as far as I'm concerned. We don't really have anything else I can do besides, of course, the white trinity mark, which we're going to come back to later. Go ahead and talk to King Trident. I seem to have misjudged you all. Ariel's safe and sound, and the Trident has been returned, thanks to you. I did not trust you, and for that, I apologize. It's no big deal. I understand. Eh, let's talk to Sebastian if you'll actually say anything, but he's not going to. Ursula's gone, the Trident... Yeah, we read that. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't think there's anything else we can do here. I think we're pretty much done. All we can do now is, I guess, board the gummy ship and head on out. Because we did get the keyhole sealed off, so... For the most part, that's most of what we can do in that world now we need to fly to another world of course but i want to see some things i don't you know what i want to see something real quick i want to no i wouldn't be able to do it though that's true i won't i wouldn't be able to do it because i don't have the abilities and the essentials required to do this but i want to go back and see if anything if i can actually go ahead and try to get the pink the pink guy to spawn in, but I accidentally went to the tent. Fuck. You know what? Never mind. Change of plans. I, that was basically just a waste of time. <laughs> I 
I didn't mean to. I didn't know the tent was gonna be like the main one. I get to click on it. I could have sworn they took him to the treehouse first, if anything. Well, since we're here, we might as well just go ahead and change my equipment out. The Crab Claw raises max MP by one and enhances magic and summon power. Also deals good physical damage. In general, MP plus one, better strength, better magic and summon power, and of course, good physical. So Crab Claw is going to be a very good benefit for this situation. Let's board the gummy ship one more time. Should I probably head back to Traverse Town? Because like, I don't think there's really anything I can do at Traverse Town, to be honest. We need to go here. Well, actually, the battle level is... We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we have this one, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we need to go to... We need to go in warp drive to, Ar to Agrabah. And from there, we're going to go select another world. And we're going to try to spawn into the next one. Whatever shall it be. It's, either, it's one of two things, I know that for sure. It's two different worlds that I know for a fact. Alright. We didn't get any new Trinities, did we? Actually, that's what sucks. We don't have any new abilities of Trinities. God damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and do a normal drive warp here. It's going to be a level 6 stage. So, how difficult could it possibly be? For all I know, I think it might be... No, they might leave him for last. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't remember who they leave for who. Thing is, I don't think we really confront Hades much, to be honest. Well, we do do a Hades Cup, essentially, down in Olympus Coliseum. But we don't, like, you know... No, we fight him, but I don't think there's really any, like, story reasons of why... Wait, actually, there's another place. No, no, there's not. That's in the second one. What am I thinking of? Damn it! I was gonna say, like, oh yeah, there's Beast Castle, but... No, we don't go to Beast Castle in this game. But... Spoiler alert, we do technically meet Beast, and he's going to be playing a major role later on during the game. And then after I get done doing this recording, I'm going to go ahead and bring up these videos out. And I want to get them published throughout the week. So, that might be something new I might be doing. I'm doing it for the sole fact that people are actually watching my Kingdom Hearts. I'm actually surprised by that. I'm getting a decent audience of watching this uh, Let's Play of mine. So I really, really, really do thank you all for sticking with me through this this journey of which I have decided to uh, take. Man, hopefully most of you will stick around for the majority of my Let's Plays that I'm going to be doing probably for the rest of my life, if anything. I don't know, like this... You know, I never really think about it, but I, I don't know what I would do if I didn't do this. Like, what my hobby would essentially be, besides just sitting on my fat ass and playing video games, which is what I'm doing now, regardless. But, like, I'm sitting on my fat ass playing video games and entertaining people at the same time. Or, at least, I consider it entertainment. I'm sure most people do as well, but... For the most part, I'm not really doing a whole lot. Now, like, what hobbies would I take up if I didn't play video games would be a really tough one. Like, I don't... I can't see myself doing doing that stupid stuff where I just sit around all day and... Look at my phone and text people. That does not seem like something that I would be doing. I don't know. I'm just glad that I get to do what I can do now, and you know what? I try to, uh help others with video games as well and try to just be my own kind of person and kind of away from everything else and just leave people alone and and do what I do best which is just this so like I my next let's play is gonna be Ratchet and Clank 2 no matter what I did like somebody basically told me that I should do Kingdom Hearts now and I said all right fine because I was thinking about doing Kingdom Hearts anyway but they're like you know what let's do it now and I'm like, alright, fine. That, that sounds good to me. Why not? Let's just get it. Let's just get it going. Get it kind of out of the way. And, you know, that way I just have it done on my channel and what have you. And, you know, the funny thing is, it brought in a lot of... It actually brought in a lot of people, to be honest. I'm starting to slowly get a lot more people coming in and actually subscribing to my channel. Because I, I assume it's probably because of Kingdom Hearts. Now, the thing I've noticed, though, is like the higher up that your subscriber count goes... You tend to get more subs that way. But that that's also a thing that I like to do, too. Like, I like to subscribe to people who have at least 100 or more subs. Because it it's kind of, like, more appealing. But that's the problem, too. Is if you don't have, like, 100 subs or whatever on YouTube. If you have, like, 20 or 30 like I used to have. It's a lot harder to get up there. Trust me, it is. But once you start getting a little higher, that's when things start to kind of, like, flood in a little bit.
Okay, so here we go. We are now officially inside of Halloween Town. And this is one of the better worlds of the game, actually, personally, because aesthetically and just in general, it just has a really nice uh, tone to it, to be honest. Now, the thing I want to do, I want to check on real quick, is I want to check if I have anything I can do. Nope. I don't think... Well, Goofy has... He can equip Cheer, finally, so... Increase the summons MP gauge. Can, yeah, we'll do that one, actually. We'll equip that. Uh, he has Second Wind and, of course, Second Chant, which is a ridiculous amount of AP for him, though. He doesn't really need that. We can equip Charge. Charge and knock out an enemy with a shield, alright, or whip shield, I should say. Second win for Donald. You know what? He's got nothing else he can do, so why not? We'll just uh, go ahead and equip that real quick, which basically means that he recovers from KO status a lot quicker. And equipment-wise, we have everything checked up on. I don't think I have anything in stock that I can use. Nope. We have two fire arts, blizzard and thunder. We got a water gleam, and that's uh, something for later. Which, yeah, we, I guess we never did give that to uh, what's our nuts, did we? But I'm pretty sure we might still have... I don't think we still have uh, the other one, though. I think this might be the only one. Yeah. Yeah, all right. All right, sweet. I think it was just Bambi, though, if anything. All right, so check on that, and that should be about it, folks. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time when we play some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And for the rest of you folks out there who want to listen to me blab on for more journal stuff, let's get right into, let's get right into it, shall we? First of all, let's start with the characters. We got Ursula. She deceived Ariel and stole the Trident to take over Atlantica. Using its power, she became an enormous monster and battled Sora, Donald, Sora, Goofy, and Donald. Which is going to change the way they say that in the sequel. Trident's, Ariel is Trident's youngest daughter. Ursula tricked her into helping steal his Trident with help from Sora and the others. All was put right. Still, she'll never stop dreaming of exploring the world outside her father's palace. And that's it for the new characters. Or the new character reports. Atlantica, Ariel, Prince of Atlantica, yarned to go to other worlds, but her dream could not be realized as King Triton, her father, for forbade such notions. Ursula took advantage of this to, co to coax Ariel into leading her to Triton's trident, which she then seized for herself. To atone for her mistake, Ariel went to Ursula's lair with Sora, Donald, and Goofy to retrieve the trident after her morays were defeated. Ursula used the trident's power to become a giant, a giant, but was vanquished in the end. With the trident's power, Sora found the keyhole and sealed it. Now time for the big one. And yeah, earlier I did say that I'm not going to read them until like I get the second one. But does it really matter at this point? I mean, I'll, I might as well just get out of the way. I I know what I said, but I changed my mind now. I might as well just get out of the way. All right, here we go. Anson's report number three. We don't have number two, but we have number three. Okay, here we go. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts or incarnations of darkness? or something entirely beyond imagination. All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even, even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I know! I got it! I will call them the Heartless. Ingenious, I must say, Ansem. So there you go, that's the end of Ansem's Chronicles so far. There is reports so far. Uh, character wise, or Dalmatians, we only have 39 out of the 99. We still have 13 Trinity jumps completed, 4 Trinity charges, and 3 tr Trinity ladders. Of course, if need be, if I ever decide to in the next episode, maybe or maybe not, I might actually do some Trinity Mark cleanup. Also, there is a red Trinity Mark in Halloween Town that you must get if you're going for all the Trinity Marks. This is the only one in the game that you need to get. Because if you miss out on this one, you miss out on it for good. So get it when we get the chance. I will make sure I will let you know. So pay attention the best you can in Halloween Town. I know my voice is irritating and annoying, but just stick with me long enough and I'll show you where it's at. Anyway, folks, without further ado, I hope you'll enjoy it. And we'll see you all next time when we play some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And as always, take care, everybody.